Hello my friends, Sylvia here and today I'm going to be doing a travel update, let you guys know what is going on. I am in Sacramento. I am camped at the Cal Expo RV Park. I've been here for a week riding the American River Trail. It's been just lovely. The weather has been fantastic and of course I'm going to be doing a video about that. And you know, one of the hardest things about this new way of travel for me with my truck, my trailer, and my trike is I have so much freedom. It's actually really hard for me to decide where to go next. I have so many options. And so I was looking at the map today, and um, I've actually got a couple of days mapped out. And while I was going through all of this, um, it came to my attention that California is about to impose a three-week lockdown and so this has kind of changed everything and um, you know what this means is that they are going to shut down a lot of the campgrounds so this county the state campgrounds probably a lot of the national campgrounds are also going to be shut down even a lot of the private uh, campgrounds are going to be closed and because it's winter time, you know, I already have issues finding campgrounds that are open. I mean, there's a lot that are open, but I always have to double check because a lot of them are closed. And so I'm um, trying to plan my route and try to plan ahead. And so it's uh, kind of changed some of my plans. Um, the reason California is doing this is because the healthcare system is becoming overwhelmed and the number of coronavirus cases, positive cases is just skyrocketing and the number of deaths every day it's at a new record and so they need to um, shut things down so that we can get the flatten down the curve and start to uh, get a handle on it. It's really important that the healthcare system is not overwhelmed. And so I was trying to think about like what I should do and where I should go. And of course, the first option is leave California. Just go to Nevada. It's not even that far. Um, or I could go to Arizona. Um, but I really think the better idea is that I actually get off the road and I was reminded that during the first lockdown, I stayed with my friend Joni, who is a priest of the Catholic Church uh, just outside of Palm Springs. And you know what? That was just a perfect situation. We were all secluded. We were safe. Um, I'm completely self-contained and I had a safe place to stay during that lockdown. And so I have called my friend Joni and I said, what do you think? You know, um, do you feel safe if I come back down and do like I did the last time and just park behind your church? And she said, yes, perfect. No problem. You're more than welcome. And so I'm going to be making my way to my friend Joni's Catholic Church just outside of Palm Springs. Um, I've got the next two nights camped out, uh, mapped out. I've got tomorrow night I'm staying at an olive farm, and then the next night I'm staying uh, behind another Catholic Church in Lake Tahoe, and then I'm going to be slowly making my way down Highway 395, and um, I'll probably be at Joni's place in probably by next weekend, which is when I expect that the lockdown is actually going to start. And so, yeah, so it's kind of a big, big change here. Um, but I really do think that this is uh, the best idea. And I have plenty of videos to make. I am, as always, very behind. I have a video from the time I spent in Reading. I did a gorgeous ride on the Sacramento River Trail there. I've got a video to do for the cycling I did here on the American River Trail. I've got a video. Um, it's almost a year that I've been on the road with my truck my trike and my trailer, so I want to do an assessment, and it's been a year that I put electric assist on my trike. So these are some of the videos that you can uh, look for. They're going to be coming out um, pretty much. I try to do one every Saturday. So that's my update. 
Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. I love hearing from everybody. I want to thank you all for following along, and I hope everybody remains safe and healthy. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.